Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Phil, guys, once again, we welcome you from beautiful Jagran Valley in the heart of Kashmir, and this is Jagran Resort. Uh, right now, we are making a video of ice writing. Exactly, and in ice writing, we are gonna tell you several things on writing. What do you have in mind? What's on your uh, mind? Well, in my mind, I just wanna ask you about uh, what will be the action plan for IELTS writing. In actual IELTS exam? Yeah. That's right. Now listen up guys, whether you are academic or you are gender training, in this video, I'll give you some tips and techniques on how to attempt the test. Okay? Okay. Happy? Yeah. All right, <laughs> that's good. Okay, great. So listen up. When they give you the question paper, mm -hmm. answer sheet, first they will give you the answer sheet. Mm -hmm. On the answer sheet, you will write your name down, blah, 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 mm -hmm. and all that. If you have any anxiety converted during, I mean, you've got around four, five mm -hmm. minutes when they give you the answer sheet, you write your name down and all that stuff, right? So just remove or try to overcome any test anxiety there. And by the way, when they start writing tests, you will be already exhausted. Mm -hmm. First, listening. Then one hour stressful reading mm. and after that writing you are like oh, I remember <laughs> something like that okay so when they give you writing just take a couple of minutes mm. to relax your nerves when they take the question booklet from you answer sheet of listening reading from you just relax your nerves calm down do a little stretching or something like that okay now when they give you the question paper mm -hmm. and the examiner announces candidates, you can start your writing test now. Mm -hmm. Pick up the question paper and first of all read task 2. Uh -huh. Yes. Why? Why? I tell you. Because you know, your brain needs time mm -hmm. to think, to, to get ideas, to gather information, to think in certain directions. Mm -hmm. Read task 2. First of all, you must discover what is the type of the essay. Right? I mean, it's very, very important. Task achievement is the most important thing. That is why it is on top of the list. Mm. Right? So read the, to read the topic of the essay. Why? Because you should understand what is the type of the essay. Mm. Number one. After understanding what is the type of the essay, the second thing is what is the topic of the essay. Mm -hmm. Now, once you read the topic, immediately think, did I ever read anything on this topic? Mm -hmm. Did I ever read any article, any essay or anything like that on this topic? If the answer is yes, recall those things. Mm -hmm. If the answer is no, use your common sense and your general knowledge mm -hmm. about things and just focus it on the topic. So gather your all the knowledge in exactly, your mind. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. And focus it on the topic. Mm -hmm. Now this is the topic. This is what I know and I have to transform my mm. ideas according to the topic. So once you do this and it should not take more than two minutes. Mm -hmm. Now just calm down, read task one. But you know your brain will be producing mm. ideas. Your brain is just like that. You put an egg in the hatchery mm. and after 15 days you get the cheek from there. Right. So, so this, this is how your brain will be hatching ideas for you and come to writing task one. And by the way, in task one, there is no thinking involved. Mm -hmm. It's not that for task one, you are thinking, yes, you might think for some vocabulary words, mm -hmm. for some phrases, for some appropriate, because in task one, what you see, convert it into sentences and go on with that. If it is general training writing task one, read the topic. And I mean, when you read the topic, after reading the main topic, close your eyes for a few seconds and imagine. Mm. For example, the situation is you have, uh, you have the tickets of a sporting event, but you cannot go and join. Mm. Now close your eyes. I have the tickets. Imagine tickets, sporting event, cricket match, mm -hmm. football match, but you cannot go. Oh, hi. I cannot go there. Think about it. Imagine. Uh -huh. Once you imagine the situation, then we have the bullet points. Read bullet point number one and close your eyes. Then they say, write a letter to a friend. Hmm. In your letter, tell him how you got the tickets. How you got the tickets? Okay. My company is sponsoring this event. So my manager gave me five tickets for my family. 
see that how you got the tickets then why you cannot attend the event again close your eyes i've got uh, appointment with my doctor or i have to take my mother to the doctor and the doctor is very busy i got this appointment with great difficulty so i have to go there you need to come up and explain why your friend will enjoy again close your eyes and see us us no the football bahut changi lagdi like he likes football very much he enjoys watching cricket very much and so you have like all that. the points exactly so this is what you need to do mm. with writing task 1 gender training if this is writing task 1 academic you need to spend solid 5 minutes mm. on the on, on on observation of the task and now for academic task 1 first of all you should understand how oh, i got a graph with a trend mm. or you should understand this is a comparative graph or well this time they gave map so first you understand mm. and if it is a graph with a trend the second thing is you need to see i have to write introduction i have to write an overview mm. and after the overview i have to write the body mm. very very clear okay so you should be once i mean shmaila you know clarity is very important in life if i'm clear about what i'm going to do i can easily do it exactly. so you should have the clarity and how you get the clarity once you identify mm. if you are doing letter writing for example mm. you're doing letter writing you read the topic of the letter and you understand it's a formal letter mm. you understand it's an informal letter then you can easily write it mm. and if you don't know formal or informal then you don't know whether you should start with <laughs> dear sir or madam or dear sir mm. you'll be confused okay so you should work out these things when you are doing your ielts preparation read task 2 first then come to task 1 okay now do task 1 task 1 mm -hmm. has only 150 words mm -hmm. if you know we take the mock test and all that right so do task 1 after task 1 now come to task 2 and you already it's just like that for example shmaila i meet you for a, for 1 minute mm -hmm. and then i say shmaila i'll see you after 20 minutes and when i come back after 20 minutes i'm already familiar with you right yeah. so you are already familiar mm -hmm. with the topic topic will not give you a shock and you have already thought a little about the topic mm -hmm. and those eggs are there those eggs in the hatchery mm -hmm. eggs of ideas okay in the hatchery now those eggs will give you some ideas uh, asad can we write some uh, bullet points on uh, question paper okay that's a very good question that's a very good question if you are taking computer delivered mm -hmm. ielts you can type on the screen mm -hmm. at the end you can delete them mm -hmm. very simple just type bullet points and go on type the complete thing and at the end you can delete it if you are taking paper delivered ielts you can uh, i mean they don't allow to write on the question paper uh -huh. so on the answer sheet somewhere uh -huh. you can write few points with pencil uh -huh. but don't press the pencil too hard uh -huh. and then at the end you can remove it uh -huh. right you can just do that okay so this is how you should do it first task 2 read the topic gather some information once task 1 is done now start task 2 and remember no matter you write wonderful report mm -hmm. no matter you write wonderful letter that will only give you 3 band uh -huh. maximum 3 band uh -huh. for letter and report writing 6 band is for Uh, essay, essay writing, writing. yeah ma sadke jaave thade six band is for essay, essay writing. writing yeah so you need to write a good essay and essay and task 1 they are going to give you 7 7.5 mm -hmm. and all that without writing good letter without writing good essay without writing good report you cannot achieve 7 mm -hmm. 7.5 okay so pay full attention once you reach there now sometimes another question Sometimes the topic is unusual mm. in in essay writing, uh, unusual for you. Mm. I mean, you never heard of it. You never uh, learned about that. You never read any article on that. Still, you know the pattern of the mm. essay writing. Introduction. You see, we've got three lines here. Yeah. Write a general sentence about the topic. But I have four. You have four? <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you've got six fingers also. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, so, so three, three lines here. Introduction. First sentence, general sentence about the topic. Second sentence, paraphrase the topic in your own words. Third sentence, tell the reader your plan, mm -hmm. what your plan is, what your side is, and all that stuff. Okay. Then move on. So even if you are not very much literate about mm -hmm. that topic, you don't know quite a lot about that topic. Still, there is common sense. Mm -hmm. Use that and come up with a couple of points and elaborate those points into paragraphs. I, and I tell you one thing, students, never give up in IELTS mm -hmm. writing. But is giving up? 
Topic is very difficult. What I can I do? I, I can't write anything on this. I never learned about. Come on! <laughs> there isn't anything on this mm -hmm. planet Earth that we did not hear about. Mm. Because now we've got a lot of information, mobile phones and this mm. and that. And by the way, in IELTS, they never give technical topics. They always give social topics. So just gather some information. You need two to three headings to write 250 words. Two to three headings, you know what do I mean? Two to three outlines, outlines to write points. in the body of your essay and mm. there you are. Introduction is simple, conclusion is based on those two, three points. So once you do this, you can write a good essay and examiner will see your writing style, your language, more than the quality of your arguments. Mm -hmm. Examiner will not see the arguments are fake or this person has no knowledge on the topic, mm. weak knowledge on the topic, wrong knowledge on the mm. topic, they will only check your English and the relevance of your essay with the topic. Mm -hmm. Once there is the relevance, you can get good bench score. Great. Enough? Yeah. Yeah. Fair keen de buta gala kat de, huh? Okay guys, yeah. if you like this video, hit the like button. Yes, and... exactly. I also teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online IELTS classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. Asad Yaku with Truly wish you best oh, of luck. Best. Thank you. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Hafiz.